Okay, listen, we are not reinventing the wheel, just the croissant. There's a new wave of croissant creations coming to life. Each flaky layer is taking on a new shape, swirl, and structure to give your croissant a totally new look and taste. Our Studio 5 food editor, Maddie Tolman, is catching us up on the croissant couture. I wish I could say croissant, like a French woman. Like a French woman. woman. Yeah. I'm not even gonna try, because I have, and it's been sad. You say croissants are really having a moment right now. Yeah, we are literally living in like a croissant renaissance. Like, <laughs> people are coming out with so many different like varieties and mashups and mix-ups. Um, that the buttery slope is just getting slipperier. <laughs> more and more and more. <laughs> um, so we are gonna roll out a few of those creations that are kind of going crazy right now. Which, Remember? Listen, what a fabulous trend to start and to take on because yeah. you kind of can't go wrong. It you're is right. buttery, you're right. you're it's right. flaky. It's, we love a croissant mm -hmm. as it is. So if you're telling me we're improve, improving upon it, it can that's only get a better. Right? So what's first? The crookie. Okay, the this crookie. is everywhere. Okay. Um, it's basically just a croissant cookie mashup. So what we're going to do, we're going to make one together here. Okay. I've cut it in half, not all the way, just about to like that. Like if you were going to have a chicken salad sandwich, little pocket, um, you're going to stuff a little square of cookie dough in the croissant, in the croissant. Oh and then gosh. it gets better. Oh you just gosh. wait, put like, and I found the good ratio of a good, like these ones, uh -huh. about three squares of this you can do like homemade cookie dough. Of course, that would probably. But this is just the Toll House. This is just the Toll House. Yeah, not just the Toll House. Just the store. Let's box. show some respect. We love a good Toll House. So cookie. once you fill that like, oh my gosh, nice and yummy full like a cookie dough sandwich okay. on your croissant. Okay. Then you're gonna goodbye take chicken salad. A goodbye chicken salad. We don't need salad. you anymore. Okay. Then we're gonna take another square and oh we're boy. gonna kind of smash it on the top. And this honestly, <laughs> it works better when it's like room temperature cookie dough. Kind of melts. When it's like right out of the fridge. So for once, our studio lights are doing us a favor That's as right. it melts. Down as it melts. Yeah. And you kind of just want to like layer that on top. Oh my Doesn't gosh. have to be pretty because cookie dough and croissants are already pretty. You can't go wrong. Yeah. So then you bake that in the oven. And it cooks inside? It cooks inside. So I didn't even, I just baked mine like this, like not even open, like a okay. French dip, just closed. And let's like, you're gonna die. Look how gooey and like delicious. Stop it, it's all in there. Right? Look at it come out. I know, so like, don't you wanna take a bite of that okay, yummy Okay, yeah, I actually really gooey. do, can I? Try it. Oh, these are warm. Yeah, still warm. Good job. You timed Time that nicely. Timed that one good. I mean, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong, right? As I said. So, there is our cookie. Okay. Our number two. I'm gonna grab a towel, keep Kay. talking. Number two is our uh, smashed croissant. So we've got our Costco croissant here. Okay. We're gonna try this one together too. So you roll it out. This, it feels like a crime, but you are legit gonna flatten <laughs> You're killing your me fluffy today. croissant all the way. You're gonna fat, flatten the fluff. Flatten the fluff all the way. And I kind of flipped it and then rolled it and both sides. What are we making, sorry? Smashed croissant. Smashed, okay. So then from there, once yours is yeah, all this smashed feels, this feels here, right? It feels so wrong, uh -huh. but it tastes so right. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Look at you. Okay, now what? <laughs> then, um, okay, two ways you can cook this one. Uh -huh. um, I found the panini press to be so effective because it's smashing it again. Like you're getting a double kind of smash there. Okay. So I like to take it. This is our melted butter. More we're butter. Paint it like we're a French artist now. Uh, yes, we really are French. Croissants. Uh huh. Take that and paint it. And I think I've heard Mickey Eberhardt is somewhere in the studio and hopefully she's not watching us <laughs> butter our croissants. And we're gonna lay <laughs> that fine. one down. It's fine. They're already so buttery, but oh, wow. a little more butter. More. Why not? A little more on the other side. Yeah. And then we're seriously gonna like smash that all and the it, way down. And it, what, crisps? Crisps them up. So these ones up here are <gasps> a smashed finished product. How did I miss so, that? Um, and you can go sweet, you can go savory. Um, we've got like dipped in chocolate. We've got. So this is a white chocolate dip. That's a white chocolate dip. Sprinkles. sprinkles. What's this? Um, that's uh, frosting and some strawberries and powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, you went savory. Savory with this there. One. Another savory idea. I was just thinking of avocado toast. Like you could just put some avocados on top. It could be like it. Honestly, like the the texture is like a cookie, like mm -hmm. a crunchy a little bit. Mm -hmm. So buttery. And what you do here? That's white chocolate with some nuts on top too. Drizzled with and some crunch. Yeah, like go crazy. Like whatever you can think of. Seriously, you can't go wrong with that croissant okay, base. Okay, this is. Hysterical. Crazy. So there's our finish there. Oh, you we'll could do it on the grill, I guess, too. You could. Or like a griddle, too, if you don't have a panini press. Just, um, same thing, smash it with butter and then cook it on your You griddle. weren't kidding, the croissant renaissance. Right. Okay, what's okay, our, our last one here? This is the croffle. So a uh, croissant and a waffle. 
Can it get better? I'm feeling so out of touch right now because right? you're talking like I should know what these are, but I'm gonna in a couple minutes. <laughs> so what is it? What is it? Cruffle? A cruffle. A cruffle. So um, literally, same thing. You could smash these before if you wanted. I honestly didn't notice that much of a difference. So put it in your waffle maker. Okay. You literally just push it. This down. is just to toast and All to the crisp. Way. Yeah, to okay. kind of and it, like if you have a deeper kind of ridged waffle maker, they're gonna come out more like waffle looking. Okay. This one is kind of just a little. Not as deep as I would hope, Look but how fantastic. that's what they turn out like. Whipped cream. Whipped cream, strawberries, powdered sugar, whatever, and syrup too if you want syrup. You could even like go crazy and do some um, French toast. Like, oh, for sure. Put it in your egg wash first yeah. and then cook it in your waffle maker. Okay. Put it on your griddle. This is so whatever. fun. So right? I'm getting the big Costco croissant. Your 12 pack. We're going wild and I am thinking yeah. that I know many women are of all of the May events mm -hmm. that call for our attention in the form of dessert. Mother's Day, mm -hmm. graduation parties, you've got the kids, the high schoolers coming over for an end of school party, whatever. You have these on hand and suddenly you have a totally novel yeah. and delicious treat. Yeah. Croissant, like you could do a whole dessert bar of like, even like dip, like flatten a few out for your guests. Sure. Lay, lay out your toppings, let them like dip away in their Maddie, smashed croissants. They're so fun. Whatever. Your energy is contagious. We're sold. Thank you, sister. Great job. Yes. The croissant renaissance. You saw it here. Fun new desserts, ways to use those Costco croissants in tasty and delicious ways. We're going to repost this conversation on our website for you, studio5.ksl.com. You want to click on the food tab, the recipe tab at the top of the screen, and we hope that is a really good go-to resource for you come dinner or, yeah, even dessert. We're good for that, too. So be sure to make Studio 5 bookmark that and make that part of your kitchen routine.